This printer is HP Desjet 3772. And this one is HP Desjet 3755. Now this printer, you switch it on from here. This is the on, on button. And likewise, this is the on button here. Okay, so bring it out. The paper tray will rest here. Okay, if you open it up. Okay, this is the ink cartridges holder. Okay, and with this printer now, I can see this is the LCD screen. This button here is for you to copy color. This is for you to copy black. This is the web. And this is the Wi-Fi button, information button, resume and cancel. Okay, and this is this one here, sent in. Okay, you can see the ink cartridges. And this is the rear, rear paper feed. Rear paper feed. Okay. So now with this printer, to remove the ink, press, okay, and for you to remove the ink. And to install the ink, what you need to do, you need to go in, so the color goes to the left and the black goes to the right. You just need to go in, push it upwards, and the same thing is applicable to this. So go in, push it up. Now, this printer, before you do anything, first of all, put this printer in a wireless mode. And to do this, you need to press the Wi-Fi button and cancel button together. Okay, to put the printer in a wireless mode. So press the Wi-Fi and the cancel button together. Okay, and you can see the printer will start to flash. Okay, the printer will start to flash. Okay, now, the next thing to do is for you to go ahead and look for this printer use, using your phone. Go to your Play Store. Okay, type HP Smart App. HP Smart App. Open it up. Okay, download it on your phone. Once it's downloaded, click it open. This is HP Smart App. And this is the HP Smart App. Okay. Now, to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network, you need to do. You need to go to plus sign. Okay, then select choose the type of printer you want to add a new print start. Okay, then select Wi-Fi. Okay, select Wi-Fi. Then select continue. Select continue. And it will ask using location, device location. Select OK. And he allow HP Smart App to go. Access device location. Select only this time. Turn the Bluetooth on. HP is asking to turn the Bluetooth, select allow. Okay, and once the Bluetooth is on, it will start to search for available device. So what it's doing now is searching for this printer. And it's also showing us my printer is not listed. Select again, search again. Like I said earlier, you need to make sure you put the printer in a wireless mode by pressing the cancel and Wi-Fi button, okay? Select find my printer. Connect device to HP, we use a temporary Wi-Fi. You can see HP, set up HP 3700 series, select on it. So if you find the printer, okay, and it's communicating, the next thing to do, you need to select continue. Now what it's, doing, it's going to do is going to pick up the network. To, for us to be able to connect this printer and as you can see we found the network available so I'm going to select the particular one now connect printer to Wi-Fi network so what I'm going to do now is to put the password I have the password here sometimes I, people ask where do you get the information you get the information for the Wi-Fi from the back of the router okay so I'm going to put the password then we'll go ahead and follow the instruction why you are putting the password if I, if we ask you to put capital letter put capital letter if we ask you to put a small letter so it is case sensitive okay and I'm happy you can also press the i sign to check if information you put if you are happy with it I'm happy with the information then the next thing we need to do is we need to select done okay select continue and you can see printer is found okay so the printer is found the next is 
prepared printer prepared the next now is obtaining the ip address for this printer ip address obtained finishing connection here we go printer connected to wi-fi network and you can see it so this printer now is connected and if you look here you will see that the wi-fi light is steady and also the web light okay all of them are now steady this is to show you that the printer is connected the only thing that is missing here is for us to load the paper but now this printer is connected you just need to select continue to go ahead and finish up the connection so this is exactly how to connect this printer now the next thing is for you just to add a paper trail so this is the paper you can just add small amount and adjust it accordingly this is the paper tray here okay so this is how to load the paper okay and you can see it's showing us zero if you remove this paper now you will see a warning sign okay it will also show you that the paper is missing okay but the paper just need to load the paper and go ahead so at the moment we just need to wait for this process to com complete you can load various size of paper you can load a4 paper now the next thing is you need to find the pin okay so to find the pin okay the next thing to do open up the printer here the, there's a pin number okay, in case you're connecting this printer this is where to find the pin okay to go ahead so the pin is here so you need this pin to be able to finish up the connection okay so i'm going to add the pin Okay, once you put the pin number click submit and it can see it's telling us thank you for waiting checking the printer status once you put the pin number then here we go so it's getting ready okay connected printing service click accept all Just need to select click accept or uh, okay now it's actually not create an hp account already start to sign in i've already have account with hp you can also skip this okay i have account already select sign in or you skip this the reason i will encourage you to sign in is for you to be able to scan and do so many things you can see select to continue once you sign in to be hp account you're able to go ahead and scan document and do so many things with this printer so it's getting ready but this is exactly what things you need to do for you to be able to use this printer now you see auto update select automatic update select apply here we go set up complete less print so now once you're done that you just need to select print a document you can also skip Okay, now select print. Click OK. There we go. So it's printing the document. The next thing is asking us now print from other device. You can send the link or not right now. Select not right now. Okay, here we go. So this is HP Plus. And it showing us the printer here hp 3700 series is ready okay and this is the printer welcome okay so guys this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network after you connected the printer to wireless network okay using your mobile phone the next if you want to connect it to your laptop okay so what you need to do is you need to download hp smart app on your laptop so you need to download it where you find it is you need to type hp smart app okay download this from microsoft store or google play store so go to hp smart app it's already downloaded on my laptop okay it's already downloaded what we need to, this is hp smart app 
so once you download it on your laptop you will see this image okay now to add this printer now what you need to do is you need to go to the side here to the side and select add you will see the bell and select printer image select add slash set up a printer select on it and they will start to look for available printer it will start to look for available you can see hp desk jet 3700 series is online so you select on it okay you select now it's going to set up okay now it's getting the printer driver so this is how to do this once you set up the printer using your mobile phone you just need to add it to So it's getting the driver ready. Here we go. Printer driver successful install. Select. Once you see this image, okay, you need to just select launch app. And the printer is ready we'll show you the printer so this is how to do this okay so now this printer is ready i receive a message someone asks how to print alignment head for this printer to print alignment head you need to select the printer image okay when you select printer image then you need to scroll down to print quality to select print quality tools okay and when you select print quality tool, then you wait continue your printer setting click ok it will take you to this place your connection is not private okay go back to safety ignore it click advance select advance okay and now the next thing is it will actually we see this back to safety but i will ignore it just select proceed okay and when you select proceed it will take you to here we go it will take you to maintenance tool for a printer this is maintenance tools run maintenance tool to improve the print quality of your printout okay so you can do so many things you can print quality report you can align cartridges calibrate scanner clean up smear clean print head so i want us to align print head aligning print head will ensure high quality output okay so select align print head Okay, now, so ideally you need to make sure that this paper guard is, okay, put out this way so that the paper will rest on top. And when, when you look from the print out, this alignment will print it out, okay, so you look on each particular one, okay, so you start from, examine the alignment page and on the alignment page you will find all the boxes in which the smaller line are the least visible then select the option for the buses from the list below so you go to the box a okay so the way it works is if you look bus a b c d so you look on each one and select the image then you key the image the one where the line is very least okay so now we set the bus a you select on it so i'm going to select now seven a seven okay then it proceeds to box b when you look on then you look up box b i'm going to select b10 okay then you look on the c line so select c so when you look on the image c11 so c11 is what i'm selecting okay then you look the next is d so you check on the d select d and type the number d9 is what i'm selecting then e select e and then you look on the image and see E11, okay? Then select F, then check the images, okay? F5, 
now the next is G so I'm going to select G2 so when you look on the image then the next is H okay so H3 okay then the next is I select I then you check so I 11 okay then the next is J select J 5 okay so the next is K so K7 K7 okay then the next is L select L then you look on the image L9 okay and the next is M okay I think I will select M3 can't really see anything on M3 then the next is N the last but not the least N1 okay so then the next thing to do is once you put the detail you select apply you can see alignment successful recycle or discard the alignment page okay select okay okay so now i can go back to the main can go back to the to hp smart app and start doing other things you want to do but this printer now is pretty much ready for you to be able to print nice and quality photo and nice and quality document okay if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel i received a question someone asked how to print document from your mobile phone to hp printer wirelessly so basically how to print okay wireless print from your mobile phone so i'm going to show you how to do this there are two ways to print document from your phone to any printer or hp printer or canon printer what you need to do is you need to first of all make sure your phone and the laptop both are connected to the same network okay now the next thing to do is you need to go to once you've done that then and also you, you have the paper loaded okay then you, you go to your file so so when you select file it will show you this is my file okay so you have image video audio track document download okay and the installation apk installation so select documents now these are documents okay downloaded on my phone okay so now i'm going to select this document open it up this is the document we have here okay it's two pages document so now to print this document out you need to go on top go on top you will see three dots so select the three dots when you select the three dots you scroll down to print select print and when you select print you will see this okay but you need to make sure scroll down again you will see the down arrow for you to select the correct printer the printer showing here is canon mg 3600 series but you need to scroll down to select this printer and when you scroll down you look for hp dash jet 3700 series select on it okay and you wait for the printer image to show and this printer image now is showing okay so to print this document you can also scroll down again scroll down for you to add how many copies change the color and also to print double-sided okay if you want to print color from color to black and white then you select black and white or color like double-sided is not this printer i cannot do double-sided here and also the paper size is A4, orientation is portrait, and all the pages. If you want to print only particular page, then you select re ranges. Then you type page one if you want to print only page one, or type page two if you want to print only page two, or select all the pages. Okay. You can select all the pages. Once you select, once it's done that, then you select click on the print image. Here we go. Now this document is going to print out. It's the first one, very quick. Here we go. So this is the document we printed out. From my phone to hp printer okay two pages 
this is the first one and second one now another way to print the document is go to hp smart app okay and uh, you can see the printer is ready hp dsj 3700 series is ready now scroll down go to print documents it will ask you pdf or photo select pdf now it's going to take you to for you to select the document you want to print okay so you can select scroll down and look particular so this is the document i want to print okay and here is one and two the same document we printed earlier is also what i want to print out so select print and now it's processing remember we printed this document color earlier so now i want us to print this document black and white select black and white okay orientation portrait you can also select more option when you select more option then you select the quality you can select normal or best quality or fit to page fit to page if you select fit to page the document will shrink a little shrink okay select fill page then you go back if you are printing photo then you select photo then you go back and select select print now do, this document is printing okay let's see we printed it black and white okay and this is the second one black and white and this is the one we printed color so this is how to print your document okay wireless with your mobile phone if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel so hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well i received a message someone asked how to print wirelessly okay wireless printing from laptop i'm going to show you how to print documents from your laptop to hp printer the rules are you need to make sure that the printer and laptop are both connected to the same network okay and when both are connected to the same network now what you need to do is to print a document you need to go to uh, file explorer okay so select file explorer when you select file explorer then you need to select go to the documents so or go to the download you can select documents okay when you select document then you scroll down to look for the document you want to print out okay so scroll down to select the document you want to print for instance okay so this these are documents I have here so you just need to select any pdf document you want to see. let's say select this document okay and it's opening up but i want us to print only few now to print this document you need to go on top and select file so select file on top okay when you select file, then you scroll down to select print select print and uh, now when you select print you also need to select the correct printer so by scrolling down from the printer then you need to select hp dsj 3700 series and this is hp this is showing us ready so select on it and it's now showing us ready here now the document we have here is 9 to 13 pages i want us to print only page one okay so we select to print page one only so select one to one okay and select print now this document now is going to print out here only page one here we go you can decide to print page one to two or one to three if you have many documents decide to print only page one okay so now we printed this document only page one here we go so this is the document we printed out only page one okay now another way to print document from your laptop to hp printer okay. then the next process is for you to print this document using hp smart app okay then select print document select print document and 
you will see supported file document file tab click ok now it will take you for you to print documents you have from documents or anywhere you save the document you want to print out okay you scroll down to select the document okay so this is the document i want to print select this document and select print now this document now we are printing out is two pages okay so you can see page one to two this is the second the second page okay this is the second page one to two okay now to print this document out we need to select you decide if you want to print it in color or black and white okay so first of all you select the orientation you have option for landscape or portrait select landscape and also you need to make sure you select the correct printer and the paper size is a4 and the next is paper type is plain paper output you select quality highest quality or normal then you select how many copies okay then you scroll down you see duplex printing if you want to print on on one side then you select print on one side if you want to print on both side okay with this printer you print on both sides but you need to turn the document the other way around okay so it will tell you how to print on both sides so i'm going to show you how to print on both sides okay then you scroll down and select page ranges if a document you have is more than 11 or more than two or four okay then you need to select page ranges so you select particular page pages you want to print you can select print current page or print pages in range if you want to print pages in range maybe one to four then you select one to four okay but this document now is two pages so i'm going to print select print all, all pages and then select print now this document is going to is printing okay now to print the second page okay so to print the second page what you need to do is you need to put the document you want to print the other way around okay so put the document you want to print okay and select once it's gone in okay because once the document this document go go in you'll be able to print from the other side and select so you select continue Okay, so this is the document we printed on both sides. You can see what it looks like. We printed this document on both sides. Okay, so you can actually print on both sides using your laptop. You just need to turn the document the other way, just like I did, for you to be able to print on both sides. Printing on both sides with this printer will save you paper, but you don't have the functionality unless you are using laptop. You have the option for you to select it and do this manually. Okay, and this is how to print document from this printer okay in two ways the other way like i showed you earlier is for you to go to the select the document from file explorer and look for this printer to add it then the second one is go to hp smart app and make sure the printer is added then for you to print it if happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you